Is it true that some human races are more intelligent than others? It's a question that makes people uncomfortable, that divides opinions, and that almost no one dares to ask out loud. During the 20th century, numerous studies attempted to establish a relationship between race and intelligence, using IQ as the main measure. In many of these studies, significant differences between regions of the world were observed. East Asian countries like Japan or South Korea scored high, with averages above 105, while other regions such as North Africa or parts of Sub-Saharan Africa appeared with lower scores, around 70 or 80. This led some to interpret the results as evidence of biological differences between human groups. But are they really? Or are they the result of decades, or even centuries, of structural inequality, lack of access to quality education, malnutrition, violence, or deeply different social systems? Today, the topic is barely mentioned in academia. Some say it's out of fear of being canceled, others claim there's nothing new left to investigate, and many believe that reopening this debate could reinforce dangerous ideologies. However, silence also generates suspicion. Is it about ethical protection or a form of censorship? Are there questions that can no longer be asked without consequences? Modern science recognizes that intelligence has a partially genetic basis, but it also emphasizes that environment, early stimulation, health, education, and cultural context deeply influence cognitive development. In addition, it has been proven that the differences between individuals within the same population are often greater than the differences between ethnic groups or regions. So if there's no purely genetic explanation, why do those average differences between countries still exist? Maybe the answer is not in one place. Maybe it has to do with multiple factors, difficult to separate. Maybe it's not just about biology or just about culture, but a complex interaction between both. Or maybe we simply don't yet have all the answers. What is clear is that this question is still alive, even if many prefer not to ask it. And you who've come this far have already heard it. What do you think? Leave your opinion in the comments, and if you found this content interesting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more.